My name is Francesco Spagnolo. I am the curator of the Magnus Collection of Jewish Art and Life at UC Berkeley. Saved by the Bay is the title of a research project unearthing documentation from the university archives that um, told the stories of UC Berkeley faculty who were refugees from fascist Europe. The project was in essence a research on two aspects. One was the intellectual migration from fascist Europe to the United States and the other was the developing of the University of California as a truly global cosmopolitan uh, beehive of minds, of intellectual minds. So the first hits were with the rise of the fascist regime in Italy and then especially with the rise of Hitler to power in 1933. One of the initial acts of the Nazi regime was to target public servants. So employees of public institutions who were politically considered to not be aligned with the ideology of the Nazi regime or who were Jews. Italy and many other countries lost a lot of the brain power and their uh, ability to compete on an international scale. There was an influx of people into America who were looking for jobs in academia, uh, so it was not easy to succeed. And in fact, the stories that we told are the stories of the most successful. It was not, I think, not, a, not just a coincidence that this exhibition coincided with the anniversary of the free speech movement uh, at Berkeley. Um, I think the, the events are related, even though emigrant scholars reacted in very different ways to, to the student movement at Berkeley in the 1960s. Some of them embraced it and were very much part of it. Others were disconcerted by, by, by it and didn't like the idea of a student mob because they experienced student mobs in fascist Europe. Makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. Refugee scholars, once they arrived to California, they settled at UC Berkeley. Uh, they had careers. Uh, some scholars were very, very close to their homelands and traveled back every year. Others really didn't want to have anything to do with their initial countries, the countries of origin. We had, I think, a very striking document was a letter by musicology Alfred Einstein, to whom we owe the systematization of the Mozart catalog of works, who was, after the war, was awarded a very important medal from, from the Mozart Institute in Salzburg. The musicologist received the medal and sent it back with a letter that said, you essentially expelled me from your uh, academic community when I was at the peak of my career in the 1930s, and I wouldn't want you to give an honor that you may regret. The overall topics of migration and of being refugees uh, that are explored in uh, Saved by the Bay uh, were very deeply familiar with me. I come from a family of refugees. I come from a family of political opponents to fascism. I was pretty intimate with what it meant to both uh, be contrasted by a regime and also very intimate with the idea of what it meant to uh, survive and be refugees and find shelter elsewhere. Not as a refugee, of course, but having relocated across continents uh, to pursue my, my academic and intellectual interests. I also felt some kind of kinship uh, with the individuals that, uh, that we profiled in this, in this project. What I found even more interesting is how deeply it resonated with the students that we work with. Um, because what the project is ultimately about, it's uh, about intellectual mobility and about the idea that uh, the life of the mind is a global life and that everybody has a right to it and everybody, you know, even if they uh, face hardships and, uh, and have to come into a country as immigrants or refugees, they can rise and they can make their voices heard. So even though these individuals we focused on were, let's say, the privileged ones, the, the successful ones, uh, they're, well, they're interesting beacons of, of hope for all of us that uh, there is a way to, to really contribute to a global uh, discourse.